Hi, it's Sierra again from Airway Science for Kids. We're here for module three of airplane design and we're on exploration three. So far, we've been experimenting with basic paper airplanes and taking it up a little bit in looking on how we can add details that are similar to real airplanes. Today, we're taking it a whole nother level by building a straw airplane that has all those parts built in and we'll be experimenting on how they affect flight in a more authentic airplane shape. So we're going to end up with this. This is our ultimate goal. Now, if you decide you want to decorate everything beforehand so you have a wing design on your papers, you are welcome to do that, of course. Um, so if you wanna get your markers out to do that before you even start following along, please feel free to do that. I'll take a sip right now. So to remind you, now's a good time to pause if you want to decorate your wings and tail beforehand. All right, so let's double check the supplies we need for today. You need scissors and tape, ruler, A straw, these two sheets of paper, um, one is, is about five inches by 11 and the other one is about a one and a half inches by eight inches. And then you have a few paper clips that we're going to want to use as well. All right, so double check that you have each of those. Again, feel free to pause if you need to take a minute to get them all out. I'm taking tiny sips today. <clears throat> All right, now I need to let you know that today's exper exploration is a little complicated in the design. It's not so much hard, it takes just a little bit of time and attention. If you need to ever rewind or review or pause to compare notes, please don't let yourself get frustrated by that. That's part of the design process is challenging our direction of following skills and our ability to build. So here we go. The first step we want to do is a little bit of preparation work. You will need your paper and your ruler and your pencil and set the other things aside. We need to do some lines here to help us plan out how we're going to create our plane. And the first thing we need to do is plan out how we're going to make sure we get our ailerons our elevators and our rudder put into place. And that's simply going to be by drawing a line about a half inch from the edge of the paper on the long length of both of our pages. Now, if you find it's frustrating because rulers tend to slide around like this, one trick is to spread your hand out like this on the table and press gently but firmly so that it doesn't slide around. Now, to mark off a half inch, you lay the ruler out and a half inch is that long one that's part, whoops, let me see if we get the light fixing here. Oh, it does not like that ruler, does it? Okay, so we want to make sure that we have that half inch mark and we put a little tally mark in a couple of different spots to make sure that we have it lined up really nicely and I'll show you in a second how that looks. So you make three tally marks like this. You, let me see, we're not showing up very well today, are we? There we go, there's my tally marks. And then I'm going to lay it out along the edge of my ruler, spreading my fingers out to make it easier to draw. I'm just gonna lightly drag my pencil along the edge of my ruler to get my nice clear line. And I wanna do the same thing with this piece of paper, again, along the long edge of my paper about a half an inch. And again, if you wanna to pause to help yourself do that, please feel free. All right, now that we have that, put the smaller piece of paper aside, and we're going to work with this one. Now, when we talk about how a wing is structured, this doesn't show it very much, but it actually is a teardrop shape and it comes to a point in the back and it's actually kind of curved in the front. And so what we need to do is make it so, yeah, here we can see a little bit, see how it's curved in the front and it comes to a point in the back. That's what we're gonna be working on first is getting that wing design in that teardrop shape. So what we need to do is not fold the paper, just let it curve. And we wanna keep our line on the outside so we can see it. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is curve it like this. 
And now I'm gonna pause and ask you to do something just really practical to help yourself out. We're gonna use quite a bit of tape. So I would suggest you pause for a minute and cut pieces of tape about an inch, inch and a half long. And if you have a table or a desk you're working on that you can stick things to and it won't hurt it, just run maybe 15 to 20 pieces of tape along the side there so you're ready to get going. So again, if you need to pause, feel free. Okay, so now that we've got our tape ready to go, we are ready to take that teardrop shape and tape it all along that open end so it's closed. And if you get a little ding, like I have a little ding right there, that's okay, just stick your finger in there and recurve it. Sometimes it just, it wants to do a little fold and we can just convince it to not. Okay, so what I would suggest is starting right in the middle and just do one anchor tape. My tape likes to curl up. I think it has something to do with my hair. Okay, so there I've gotten that one piece of tape there that's stabilizing it. And then I'm just gonna lay it out on the table and I'm going to go ahead and tape it all along the edge until it looks like this. All right, so why don't you take a moment and tape all along the edge of your wing so it's completely covered with tape along the edge. Excellent. Now the next step is we need to make our ailerons and that's why we drew those lines. What I'd like you to do is use your pointer finger and you're going, my pointer finger is a little longer. Use your pointer finger to mark a line about pointer finger length in and put a tally mark there. Now if the tape's starting, you might have to do a little higher up and do it on both ends, pointer finger length, right like that and make a mark. And that we're, what we're going to do is to just make a little cut where we made those two marks on our wing. So see, I've made those two marks there. Then I want to tape those closed. And this is a little tricky, but I know you can do it. So you're gonna slip the tape into that space and fold it over. If you ever have tape that hangs out the edge, that's okay, just trim it off. It's not a big deal. So now our aileron is taped nice and closed. You wanna do that to the other one as well. So if you need a pause, please go ahead. I'm gonna be taping my own, so I may not take a sip of coffee this time. All right. So now our aileron is closed and ready. All we need to do is fold on that line that we drew and our wings are done. Ta-da, there we go. Now, if you want to fold it both directions so they can help steer both ways, that's a good idea. There we go. All right, good. Let's set that aside. And now we're gonna take a look at our tail. The first step for our tail is we need to make sure that our lines are on the outside and we're going to fold it in half. And this time we're actually gonna fold it, not just curve it. So give it a nice good crease. And remember, if you don't like folding with your fingernails, you can always use the edge of your ruler to tighten the crease. And then we're going to just bring around both edges. We're gonna fold it in a fourth. So we're gonna take one edge and fold it up to that line again, that fold line, and take the other side and do the same thing. So we end up with a nice neat square. But then we're going to open our flaps so it looks like this. Once we have that done, we're going to tape it here in that opening space and on both sides so it's completely sealed up. Coffee. All right. Once it is completely sealed up, what we're going to do is cut these two pieces away. So you're going to make a little snip right on the fold. And then you're going to, I'm gonna try cutting them both at the same time. You're going to cut along that line so that the part with the fold is wider than the other two parts. See how that works? And this is going to become our rudder. So we're going to fold that so that it becomes our tail rudder and it goes both ways back and forth. And if it's well taped, it's gonna stay in place really nicely. Excellent. And then we're going to use magical um, measuring again. And this time, just about a, a fingernails width from the fold, we're going to make another mark here 
I'm gonna use the same finger so I don't have different sizes. And here, and I'm going to trim on those spots and fold again, just like that to make my elevators like this. So now that I'm all done, I should have it well taped on both sides with my rudder here and my ailerons here. Take a moment and pause if you need. If you need to go back and double check because I went a little fast, I apologize. Please watch as many times as you need to get how it looks. All right, here we go. How did that go? So we should have our wing curved in the front with ailerons and those are for helping to steer and direct the plane. We have our tail with our rudder and our elevators. And rudder is just like in a boat, it helps also to steer and elevators helps just like elevators in buildings for rising and lowering. Okay. Now, if you still have tape, awesome. If not, you might wanna re replenish your cut supply for a little bit so that you're ready for the next step. And you'll need probably eight to 10 pieces for this part, so you're ready to go. Sip my coffee again. Uh, okay, now we're ready to actually build the plane. We need our straw. And I found I, I like better working with the tail first, and I had it backwards. We need to flip it around so our elevator and our rudder are pointing off the back end of the plane. And then we're going to tape that down. It may take a little bit of balancing to get it so that the plane, the tail stays level on the straw. So you might need to do a little bit of playing around and just keep taping it and adjusting it until you get it nice and connected. So mine's kind of leaning over on the side, but I can work with it until it decides it's going to level out. Good. Then now that we have that, we want to line up our wing. Again, we want the ailerons pointing back and the curve of our plane pointing up towards the forward. Notice I haven't put it all the way up in the front of the plane. I'm leaving a little bit of space there. You see that? And then I want to make sure I have it right in the middle. So you might want to measure to make sure it is right in the middle of the wing. Because remember, symmetry matters when we're talking about an airplane. And then we're going to tape it very thoroughly to the body of the plane. You might want to use a few pieces of tape to get that anchored. And we'll pause again so you have a chance to do that. Fantastic. Now the last step is you may want to try flying the, your plane before you do this just to see how it works. But notice how I slipped some paper clips into the front of my straw so that it's going to give the front a little weight. Notice the wing gives it weight and the tail gives weight in the back. So adding a little weight in the front can often help it fly better. Now it's all up to you. You get to decide how you want to fly your plane. Again, this is where we get the serious part. Professional skills say you always make sure you're flying in a safe place. Make sure there's no people around in the way and you're not going to be crashing it into anything that could get hurt or damaged. So make sure you have permission for where you're flying and make sure you're always flying safe. All right, so now that you've got your plane and you have your ailerons, your rudder and your elevators, now's the time to experiment with how it flies. So of course, we always wanna start with a control with everything level and even. There we go, without any bends or folds. And you're going to want to sail your plane. Ooh, ooh, that went pretty well. And then make sure you make notes because remember, engineers always keep track of what they do. Once you've done that, now start adjusting the different elements to see how they affect the flight. And your job is to see how you can make, can you make it swoop? Can you make it turn left? Can you make it turn right? Can you make it fly higher? and experiment with a combination of your elevators, your ailerons and your rudder to be able to make your plane fly its most efficient. I hope you enjoy your time with this. Make sure you're flying safe and happy flying.